Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this system of equations. So our first equation is x minus y is equal to 11. And our second equation is the square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 11. So for any system of equations, we want to find the value of x and the value of y. So now the first thing I'm going to do is let's first go ahead and rewrite our first equation x minus y is equal to 11. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as the square root of x squared minus the square root of y squared is equal to 11. The square root of x squared is the same thing as x because the square root and the power cancel out. And this is the same thing for the square root of y squared. So now an important algebraic property is that if we have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, we can think of the square root of x as a and the square root of y as b. So the square root of x squared minus the square root of y squared, this is going to equal a plus b. So a is the square root of x, b is the square root of y. So the square root of x plus the square root of y times a minus b. So the square root of x minus the square root of y. So now we have the square root of x plus the square root of y times the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 11. Now, if I rewrite, now remember, our second equation was the square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 11. So right here, as you see, we have the square root of x plus the square root of y. So now I'm going to re I'm going to substitute in 11 for the square root of x plus the square root of y. So now I have 11 times the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 11. And now we can simply divide, oops, sorry. We can simply divide both sides by 11. So now I have these two cancel out and these two cancel out. So I have the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 1. So now I can go ahead and add the square root of x plus the square root of y equals 11 and the square root of x minus the square root of y equals 1 because this is a new equation we just found out. So I have the square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 11. And the square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 1. So if I go ahead and add these two equations, the square root of x plus the square root of x, that is going to be 2 root x. And now the square root of y minus the square root of y, well, anything minus itself is simply 0. So plus 0 is equal to 11 plus 1, that is going to be 12. So we have 2 root x is equal to 12. And now if I divide both sides by 2, because we want to isolate x, I get these two cancel out. The square root of x is equal to 
12 divided by 2 is 6. So now we have a simple equation. The square root of x is equal to 6. So to solve this, we want to take out this square root. So I'm going to square both sides. Now by doing that, these two would cancel out because remember the square root and power both cancel out. So I would have x is equal to 6 squared. And 6 squared is the same thing as 36. So now we have our value for 36. So now what we're going to do is to find the value of y, we are going to plug in 36 for y into our original equation. So we have, or sorry, we're going to plug in 36 for x. So we have x So we have x is equal to 36. So if we plug in x for 36, we get 36 minus y is equal to 11. And now, if I go ahead and subtract 36 on both sides, I get negative y is equal to 11 minus 36 is going to be negative 25. Now I can go ahead and divide negative 1 on both sides and negative 1 divided by, or sorry, negative y divided by negative 1 is simply positive y is equal to negative 25 divided by negative 1 is 25. So I have y equals 25 and I have x equals 36. So now we have to go ahead and plug this into the second equation to check if it's right. So now I have the square root of 36. See, it's our second equation was the square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 11. So square root of x plus the square root of y is equal to 11. x is 36. So we have the square root of 36 plus the square root of y was 25. Plus the square root of 25 is equal to 11. Now the square root of 36, that's going to be 6 plus the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 6 plus 5 equals 11. And 6 plus 5 is indeed 11. So we have 11 is equal to 11. And we can also go ahead and plug this in to the square root of x minus square root of y equals 1 because this is, was another equation that we found out. So square root of x minus the square root of y is equal to 1. x is 36. So we have the square root of 36 minus y was 25. So the square root of 25 is equal to 1. Now the square root of 36 is 6 minus the square root of 25 is 5. So we have 6 minus 5 is equals 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. So if 1 equals 1, this is right, this is right. So our solutions are x equals 36 and y is equal to 25. Mm -hmm.